Let's talk about the pancreas. The pancreas is an accessory digestive gland, it has both exocrine and endocrine functions. The exocrine functions are secretion of pancreatic juice from the acinar cells and the endocrine function is a secretion of glucagon and insulin from the islets of Langerhans. We will see both of them at the histology of the pancreas. The pancreas is a retroperitoneal organ, meaning it's not fully covered by peritoneum. It is located posteriorly to the stomach between the duodenum and the spleen. It has four parts, the head, neck, body and tail. Right here we can see the pancreas this elongated organ right here and in the cadaver it looks kind of like adip adipose tissue right here it is located again behind the stomach posteriorly to the stomach between the duodenum and the spleen the parts of the pancreas are the head neck body and tail so the head is located inferiorly to the trans so the head is inferior to this line. It is engulfed by the duodenum. The duodenum makes a C-shaped structure around the head of the pancreas. The head rests on the inferior vena cava, on the right renal vein, the right renal artery, and the right and the left renal vein. So the head rests on the inferior vena cava, right renal vein, right renal artery, and left renal vein. The head contains the uncinate process. So this big projection right here, this is the uncinate process. The uncinate process is a continuation of the head, but pay attention that this, uh, this process right here, it's uh, not from the same embryological uh, origin like the rest of the pancreas. Next, we have the neck. The neck is relatively short, around two centimeters long. It is anterior to the superior mesenteric vessel. We can see the superior mesenteric vessels right here, and the neck is located right anteriorly to them. Then we have the body. The body is the continuation. It passes over the abdominal aorta right here, and the L2 vertebrae. The tail right here is the most narrow and anterior, and, uh, most narrow part of the pancreas and it is anterior to the left kidney. It is also the most mobile part of the pancreas. We have pancreatic ducts inside of the mesenchyme of the pancreas. We have a main pancreatic duct and we have an accessory pancreatic duct. The main pancreatic duct begins at the tail and then goes through the mesenchyme of the pancreas and the bile duct, the bile duct, from uh, the liver joins this main pancreatic duct and they both drain at the descending part of the du duodenum at the major papilla. Now we have uh, three sphincters around this region. So we have the pancreatic duct sphincter, we have the bile duct sphincter and we have the hepatopancreatic sphincter right here or sphincter of OD. O-D-D-I. So sphincter of OD is located right here. Now this duct essentially drains both bile and pancreatic juice from the pancreas. We also have the accessory pancreatic duct which drains into the minor papilla. In most cases the main pancreatic duct is the main source of pancreatic juice but in 25 percent of cases uh, the accessory the accessory pancreatic duct drains most of the pancreatic juice next we have the blood innervation and lymph of the pancreas the blood supply is from the pancreatic duodenal arteries and the branches from the splenic artery pancreatic duodenal arteries come from the superior mesenteric arteries the uh, branches of the splenic artery gives a blood supply to the body and mostly the tail of the pancreas. Now the venous drainage is uh, basically parallel to the blood supply of the pancreas. The innervation of the pancreas uh, comes from the celiac nerve plexus. It has sympathetic branches from the inferior thoracic splanchnic nerves and the parasympathetic from the vagal trunks. The lymph drainage is mostly uh, to the pancreatic or splenic and pyloric lymph nodes but we also have a celiac, celiac lymph nodes uh, but these are the two major uh, lymph, lymph drainage uh, of the pancreas.